Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It's Darmstadt facing Bayer Leverkusen. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? This is how it looks for the home side. Well, as you can see, they're going to play with the front two. And if you do that, it's vital that they work as a pair. They need to play close to each other and combine as much as possible. And so the Bayer Leverkusen team looks like this. And now they get the ball rolling. Müller. Franjic. Manu. And with that, they attack. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And a free kick hit with conviction. So close. Well, what a good effort. He can't believe that hasn't gone in. Well, for Bayer Leverkusen, just what they wanted. A win last time out against Stuttgart. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, they pushed all the way to the final whistle, but I thought it was a decent performance overall. Today, we'll follow a similar pattern, and I expect them to win by the odd goal. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, there's been a boatload of speculation surrounding him ahead of the game. Really, we've all been speculating. Would he play from the start? Would he be ready to play? Well, Stuart, we have our answer. Well, it's great to see him back out there, but I just hope he's fully fit. It doesn't matter how good he is. If he's not in shape, he's going to struggle today. Bellarabi. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Braden Manu. Room to roam on the wing. But quick think, a chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And deep into the penalty area. Well, no problems defensively. Oh, a nice looking pass. Can they nudge in front? And a goal! Celebrate. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. I know many people question the wisdom of using him in this position, but you have to say he's adapted well, and if the last few games are anything to go by, this could become a pattern. Yeah, you're absolutely right, he's been terrific. It can be difficult adjusting to a new role, but at the end of the day, you just let the manager worry about that. As a player, you have to focus on putting in a oh, shift. Oh, wait a the minute, point. they could be in here.
Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Grimaldo. Grimaldo. Good-looking cross. It comes to nothing in the end. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Honzak. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Patrick Pfeiffer. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Will it happen for them? Bellaravi. Can they forge ahead? Bellaravi. Must be. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back heel, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So there we have it, 2-1. Melem. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Real chance. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Now sending it in. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Grimaldo and here's Xhaka excellent assessment of the situation at the back Braden Manu Klojek and here's Belarabi oh that's a really good run so now a corner. Who can they pick out? The clearance wasn't decisive and collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. So that is that. The first 45 minutes have come and gone and it's the visitors on top. Well, we talked before the game about their ability to score goals and they've looked so threatening again. The understanding between the midfield players and forwards has been brilliant, but they'll probably need to add another in the second. And they kick off here. And they begin the second half. Currently, it's going the way of Leverkusen. Bellarabi, and he's through here. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, off the line. 
Outrageously good piece of defending on the line. It's one corner after another. Well, for good measure, we can see it again, but clearly not over the line. Can be no debate over that decision. And the danger still on. Can they get in behind them? Then Arabi. And good work to deny the chance. So a personnel change then. And he's fired over the corner. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Honzak. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Just hearing in my ear, there's been a goal at the Deutsche Bank Park. Alex Scott? Yes, it's a goal for Borussia Dortmund. It's now 1-0 with 56 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. And a quick reminder, Bundesliga action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Darmstadt, and they'll be taking on Freiburg. Well read to put an end to that attack. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Honzak. A possession lost, intercepted. Schnellhardt. Can he put it away? And a goal! That's his brace! They just can't keep him quiet! Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. away again and we're being treated to plenty of goals 3-2 at the moment and a textbook interception Bartol Franjic now let us point you in the direction of the Europa League quarter-final first leg the game is live on EA TV it's Bayer Leverkusen taking on Brighton. With only eight teams remaining, I'm looking forward to a really good first leg in that tie, full of skill and energy. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Holtmann, excellent defending. Honzak still trailing but they're upping the pressure oh great attacking play must score oh dear not really troubling the goalkeeper at all Stuart well from that range he should be scoring and he knows it Bellarabi what a corner kick it is let's see if they can put this to good use as they try to add to their advantage Time for a change then. And not an attempt he'll be terribly proud of. And 
And possession lost by Leverkusen. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Ten minutes left for play. Losing possession a bit easily. What can they do from here? Holtman. Chance to play it in. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Information coming through. There's been a goal at the Deutsche Bank Park. That means we send it over to Alex. Yes, it's a goal for Borussia Dortmund. They're pulled ahead by two with 85 minutes played. That's probably the win wrapped up right there with that one, Derek. Thank you, Alex. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Honzak. Braden Manu. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, we talked about their goal scoring record before the game and they didn't let us down. That was a great display of attacking football. Mind you, it needed to be because they made some really poor mistakes at the back.